today we are going to learn about the interfacing of a stepper motor in the stepper motor the rotation of motor can be controlled smoothly in steps small steps or large steps as per our requirement in the generally we see that in the robo arm the rotation of motor is like uh, some degree and some angle and that can be achieved by the stepper motor control in the toll plaza systems when the car comes then the shaft will be down and when the process of verification is done then it will come to them and the car will be passed in such type of applications can be achieved with the stepper motor control and the stepper motor rough diagram is shown here in the stepper motor there are six out coils in the coils four coils are the for the rotation control and the two are for the power supply requirement this stepper motor cannot drive directly with the output of arm controller because it produces very low current and that is not able to drive the stepper motor that's why we require l293 d motor driver ic this is 16 pin ic the first pin ninth pin and the 16th pin requires generally 5 volt this is for enables and the eighth pin is vcc supply and the remaining four and five and 12 and 13 are ground pin and remaining these pins are the output that is four output and four input means we can control two motors with the help of single ic and here we are using a stepper motor for with the help of l293 d we are controlling the speed of this and uh, and the, we all know that rotation all is totally 360 degree and if we want the complete rotation in four step then 90 degree become and if we want to complete the rotation in eight steps then 45 degree will be each and uh, these are the coils coil one coil two coil three and coil four in the first case we are just giving five volts to coil one and the hex code will be zero one for that and the second case we are giving the plus five volt to the coil two and in the fourth step we are giving one to the coil four in this way we are providing high to different coils firstly we are giving high to this then this then this coil then this coil in this way the magnets of the stepper motor get magnetized and continue to rotate in the clockwise direction if we want to rotate our stepper motor in the opposite direction then we should just pass these values in the opposite firstly we will pass 0 8 then 0 4 then 0 2 and then 0 1 then it will rotate in anti clockwise so for the clockwise rotation we we will make uh, array in the program and pass 0 1 0 2 0 4 and 0 8 rotation of our stepper motor will be clockwise if we want to anti-clockwise then this will be same just it will be 0 8 0 4 0 cross 0 2 and 0 cross 0 1 this will give anti-clockwise rotation these are the basics of uh, stepper motor interfacing this is the code for the stepper motor control using arm 7 LPC2148 microcontroller. The first line is for the header file and we are defining the delay function and the coming to the main function. And the first array is for the clockwise rotation of the stepper motor and the second array is for the anti-clockwise rotation of the stepper motor. We are declaring some variables. We have used the first four bits of port 0 as output that's why we have written io 0 dir is equal to 0 cross 0 0 0 0 f at last and we have initially cleared the bits and in the while one loop this for loop part is for the clockwise rotation and this for loop part is for the anti-clockwise rotation and we are putting some delay between the rotation this is the whole code for the stepper motor interfacing